past seven climate moves. We have been learning about some of the main climate zones around the world. We now cross over to some of our reporters in a tropical climate zone. You join us in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. We hope you enjoyed the series about this climate. This one is all about the tropical rainforest. It won't stop raining. When it is a rainforest, I'm so hot. Can we get out of here? Well, the weather is really hot in the rain in the forest, rainforest. No, we can't. Stop whinging. This is a perfect environment for lots of animals such as jaguars, sloths, poison dart frogs, spider monkeys, toucans and tree kangaroos. Okay, we're sorry. It's fine. Now let's get to work. In the tropical climate, it is very hot and humid. And very wet and moist because it's a rainforest. There are also different species of plants, such as heliconia flowers, which are also known as lobster claw. The rubber tree and type of orchids. Orchids are nice. They are having good smell. Also, the flowers like giant water lilies smell good, even the water that they are on. There are different types of houses too in the rainforest. Some houses are made from wood and leaves. Others are also made on wooden stilts to raise the house up. The reason of, of this is so that no insects, no snakes, etc. can get in. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Climate Information. Over to you in the Temperate Zone. You join us in the forest in Belgium. The difference between this forest and rainforest? Well, for one, this forest is much colder. Oh, a rainforest is always hot. Yet there are different plants and animals here too. Well, I've seen lots of animals. That's what? Badgers, squirrels, wolves, foxes, rabbits and deer. I hate this forest because it's full of bugs. What do you mean? I can't see any bugs. Oh, I see what they all mean. These bugs are annoying. Like what? What kind of bugs are annoying? The list of bugs that I think are annoying are wasps, beetles and flies. Down here in Belgium, there are four seasons. The four, the four season it, the four season are windy, spring and summer and autumn. I like winter the best. I like summer the best because we. I like summer the best because it's hot and we get six weeks of school. Shall we talk about homes now? Homes here have windows to open when you get too hot and insulation and central heating when it's cold. We are now moving on to talking about the countries which have a temperate climate. The first country to like Ireland and parts of North America also have a temperate climate. Some examples of plants here are mushrooms, trees, flowers and apples. The reason why the temperate climate has warm summers and cold winters is because the Gulf Stream supplies warm air in summer and warm water coming from the equator to Europe across the Atlantic Ocean. To you in a cold climate, you join us in the Arctic where it is very cold. Yes, you're right, it is freezing. Did you know the temperature can get as low as minus 60 degrees? I don't know how cold wildlife manages to live around here. They must be freezing. Well, they are fur, of course, so they can survive. Oh, the polar bears are boxing underneath the white fur to absorb extra heat from the sun. Oh, well, that's a good fact. 
the only problem with that is that during the winter the sun doesn't rise above the horizon. This is because it is within the Arctic Circle. The Arctic Circle is a latitude of 66.5 degrees. There are quite a lot of facts about wildlife in Antarctica. Good ones as well. There's more wildlife here than you might expect. There are Arctic foxes, polar bears, penguins, snowy owls, seals, whales, and lots of types of fish. But don't the polar bears eat the penguins? That will be a little bit difficult considering that they live at opposite ends of the planet. Polar bears live in the Arctic and penguins live in the Antarctic. But there's no plants for them to eat, so what do they eat or eat? Well, lots of them eat fish. Well, they don't all eat fish. Polar bears eat seals, which make their homes on the sea ice. But there are many animals to trying to survive out there. Did you know that some people live in their houses made of blocks of ice? They are usually called igloos. The name igloo means house in Inuit. Inuits are the people who live in the Arctic. They sometimes get around by using sledges pulled by dogs, known as huskies. You might think that there are not a lot of plants in polar regions. However, moss, lichen and grasses grow well. There are also a few flowering plants that can survive. One of them being halt, which is known as mountain avens in English. Parts of the North USA, Canada, Iceland, Finland, Norway and Sweden are in a polar climate. Wind speeds can ex exceed from 100 km kilometers an hour with some guts over two inches kilometers an hour. The lowest temperature yet recorded on Earth's surface was a staggering minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. Thank you, we hope you, thank you for joining us in one of the coldest places on Earth. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Over to our reporters in a arid climate. You join us in the Sahara Desert in North Africa. It is that hot here I can barely walk. I'd love to jump into a lake to cool down. I'm thirsty. It hasn't rained here in months. The Sahara Desert gets less than 10 centimetres of rain per year compared with that to England where we get over 88 centimetres of rain per year. Just think about the animals. Why do camels have such thick fur? It's so hot. Because during the night, the temperature can drop as low as minus five degrees because the air is so dry. But the temperature can go up to 38 degrees during the day. Never, never mind about that. Let's think about our new house. Yes, it could be made out of sandstone. Cloth or stance. We need plenty of shade from the sun to keep us cool, and we will need blankets to keep warm at night. Why can't we find any wood here to build our house? Leon, can you see any trees? In an arid climate, you might find lots of types of cacti. But a bush desert sage and desert lilies but you're not going to find many trees because they need plenty of water to survive. And there isn't much of that, is there? You don't just find camels in the desert either. There are scorpions, fennec foxes, armadillo and addux antelope. Which countries would you find in an arid climate? Egypt, Kenya, Mexico, to name but a few. Why are they so dry? Because they are near the equator, and the equator is a point on Earth which is closest to the sun, and that's kind of hot. Thank you for lis listening, and we hope you learned something about arid climate. Let's go on to our reporter in the Mediterranean. Welcome to Italy in the middle of the Mediterranean climate. What in the world is Mediterranean? It's when the winters are cold and wet and the summers are hot and dry. Oh, I knew that. 
Now we're going on to the wildlife in areas with the Mediterranean climate. The wildlife that we have found are red foxes, flamingos, dolphins, tortoise, and many others. Some of which you not you might not expect, like chameleons and monkeys. Monkeys and chameleons, exactly. All of these creatures are especially suited to live in this climate. How? Well, monkeys tend to eat fruit, and fruit tends to grow in warm climates, like the Mediterranean. And it's not just fruit trees that grow in the Mediterranean. Some of the plants that grow in the, uh, in the Mediterranean climate too are pine nuts, grapevines, and lots of beautiful types of flowers. Now we are going to discuss homes in areas with the Mediterranean climate. Some people call them villas and are made out of brick. They may also have shutters on the windows to keep out the heat of the midday sun. But the Mediterranean is a type of climate and it is named after the Mediterranean Sea. Some of the countries that we, that we which have a Mediterranean climate include the south of France and Italy. That's it for today everyone. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.